So for today's video, we're going to be checking out the new TLC Archelon. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's like the giant sea turtle and it's from Arc Editions, which is a mod, by the way. Let's get that out of the way in the first two seconds of the video. And this thing right here is also a mod. That is our little chibi acro that we got in the last episode where we fought the savage acro, which by the way, that was such an epic fight. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the video as well. We're totally going to fight it again at some point. Uh, I don't know when, but we'll try and do that at some stage. For some reason, the chibi just wants to not be beside me. Look at that. Come on, buddy. What the hell? Why are you standing so far away from me? I don't have cooties. Or do I? Anyway, so uh, here, here's the thing, all right? We got to find one of these turtles. I'm going to try and find a high level. What am I looking for? There we go. Um, I don't really know how common they're going to be here in Genesis because, like, the ocean is really, really big. And, and, you know, there's quite a lot of creatures already. But uh, hopefully we can actually manage to find some of these dudes. One thing that I do want to mention is uh, I know that we've had a lot of talk in the comments section over like the last while. A lot of people thought I was going to do this for episode 100 a long time ago. In fact, when we were taming up as a factinist, which is also from our conditions, um, we lost a baryonyx in the water. It got carried off by as a factinist and, um, and I just could not find it. Now, people said, oh, I, like I could see where it is. And, and I kind of pinpointed roughly where it would be. And then I think we saw it in another video, but I just completely forgot that we even had it in the ocean. Um, and then a lot of people wanted me to go and get it for episode 100. Well, unfortunately, I forgot about that. <laughs> it's like the forgotten Barry. That's really what it should be called. Um, and then a little while ago, I came over here because I'm planning something here, which we'll do at some point soon. Um, I came over here and uh, unfortunately, it actually died. I must have loaded it in and then it got killed by something. I took a screenshot of it. Hopefully, I can find it. If I can't, then I don't know. Uh, but yeah, basically, that that uh, that Barry is dead, unfortunately. <laughs> So there we go. That ends the saga of the of the lost Baryonyx. Um, are we even going to be able to find any of these turtles? Like they're not super common in any of the other maps. And uh, yeah, this ocean's gigantic. Hopefully we can find some. And uh, we, we're going to tame it up using Biotoxin, which is how you tame them, which is kind of an interesting thing. I believe they also have some sort of like rage mode against jellyfish as well. Like they're kind of like the ultimate jellyfish killing creature. They're not as epic as all the other Arcaditions creatures. I would say if I was going to rank them all, I'd probably put it on the bottom just based on, you know, it doesn't really do a huge amount of things. But it is still a pretty useful and cool creature either way. So we're going to try and find one here today, hopefully. Um... And uh, yeah, go ahead and do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Subscribe if you want to. And um, yeah, hopefully we can find one. <laughs> I seriously don't know how common they're going to be. You know, I'm really starting to worry that we might not actually find any of these dudes. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't even seen any sign of a single one. Oh man, come on. We got to find one. All these giant turtles are taking up all the spawn areas. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Some of you are probably wondering how I'm actually able to use the Astrodelphus over here. I do have flyers enabled, and I honestly completely forgot that that was a thing on here, that we can't use flyers. I just kind of grabbed it out. I was like, yeah, hell yeah, we we'll use this. To be honest, maybe I should be using something else, but uh, yeah, that's, that's why we have this. That's why we're using this. The one thing that I did promise that I wouldn't abuse uh, the missions by using flyers to kind of, you know, com easily complete them because you could easily just fly in the air above most of the giant brute creatures with like an RG or something and just attack them that way or whatever. But uh, yeah, I don't do that. Just a quick heads up anyway. One thing that I'm actually considering is maybe just flying above and just seeing if we're able to spot the creatures that way. Might be easier. What the hell happened there? Did I shoot one of my missile things? That is weird. Why is it just in the middle? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so weird. How did that happen? <gasps> oh, I see some. Hello. Yeah, flying above is a little bit easier. We got a level 30 and a level 18. Damn it, they're both terrible. Uh, all right, well, let's at least just kind of take a little look at them anyway. So you tame these things up using uh, biotoxin. It's like a passive tame, so... It's a little bit easier to actually do it on the land, though, because you can just stand on their back and they'll just, like, slide around the, the ground. <laughs> you can just basically tame them up that way. So much easier, but they look really cool, though. I gotta say, this is honestly, like, one of the only Arc Editions creatures that you could just take as it is and just completely slot that into actual Arc. Like, I feel like something like this is just so vanilla-ish 
that honestly, like, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference between a wild card made creature and a modded creature. But, uh, yeah, they look really, really cool, actually. So, they are kind of a little bit jumpy in the water, but I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I might go ahead and just kill these two, just so it kind of, you know, maybe increases the spawns for more of them, because they're the first two I've seen. The only thing that I'm kind of thinking right now is that maybe, uh, they just weren't really spawning. Um, wow, you take really reduced damage, don't you? What the hell? Holy crap. Is it because it's an X creature? Maybe. Let's uh, quickly just grab these. Ooh, I missed that one. That is so stupid. <laughs> the uh, the turning radius of the Astro Delphi sometimes kind of annoys me. I completely missed that one too. How? That is so strange. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys. We'll just blast them with a couple of those. Or maybe I'll just hop off and tech rifle it. That will probably be quicker. Wait, actually, can you net them? We got to know. Uh, oh, it's being killed by uh, Zephactinus instead. All right, let's see if we can we net them anyway. You cannot net them. Okay, good to know. Uh, let's, uh, I mean, do I even need to help? <laughs> I'll help anyway. Oh my God, you are so tanky. I feel like that's not normal. That's gotta be like, you know, that's gotta be like the fact that it's an X creature as well. Let's try not to hit a shell though. We're doing more damage when we don't hit the shell, just like normal turtles. I feel like I could just hit my creature. Holy crap, how much health do you have? Oh, okay, yeah, you got a good amount. Maybe it would be better to pull out my Spino instead. Is this thing dead already? Very close. Reload. Boom, dead, sweet. All right, holy crap. <laughs> Look at its mouth, oh my God. Yeah, this is an awesome looking creature. I'm, I'm so excited to get one, but we got to find a high level. Like I can't settle for a low level. Also, we got to kill the other, uh, the other one wherever it's gone. Oh my God, there's another one right here. There's actually two, 120 and 18. Damn it, both terrible. All right, let's kill these ones too. Yeah, Shadow Mane could be the way to do this. Maybe I could actually search around using the Shadow Mane instead, because then we can easily kill them all. Yeah, that would definitely make way more sense. All right, yeah, I see where they're kind of spawning. They're around the reef here, which makes a lot of sense considering they're sea turtles. They like reefs, right? I don't know. I've seen Finding Nemo. Okay, I know all about sea turtles. <laughs> it's the only movie you need to watch to understand. All right, I'm kind of an expert. Um, all right, well, I'll kill these ones too. That is such a cool looking color one though. Like, I really want that one right there. That one looks amazing. And alt in the water, and it didn't kill them. Wow, these things are tanky. Oh my god, they're everywhere. I just killed the two. All right, both level 18. All right, let's just make these 180s instead, and then that will be great. Boom. Still not dead. Wow. Super tanky. Oh, no, those are regular turtles. Almost got tricked. <gasps> Ooh, 174. We got another one here. 126. Terrible. 174 though, I will definitely take that. It's a pretty nice color. Not as nice as that one, at least from what I can see so far. Yeah, it's purple. You know what? That's actually a cool looking color. Let's go ahead and just dispatch of all of these Zephactinus. Such a weird name to say. I, I really struggle sometimes. All right, let's use the ult. Boom, got him. Uh, we got another one here. These things are terrifying. They really are. Honestly, if that thing was like, you know, a creature that existed now, I don't think anybody would go into the ocean. Especially if they were this high up in the freaking look, th this is at the surface. That would be terrifying. The thing could swallow you whole. All right, actually, to be honest, that thing has the really cool death animation for the player, right? Where you basically do get swallowed whole. I love it. Um, all right, let's see. So these are just a passive tame, like I said. Feed biotoxin. Oh my God, we what? Three percent. What the hell? How long is it going to take to tame you? Holy crap! This is going to be a long ass tame, man. Is that, are my taming rates right on here? That does not seem normal. Uh, all right, well, cool. I guess we're gonna be here for a long time. <laughs> I don't know. Let's uh, let's just check out its stats anyway. Oh my God, it's got a lot of health. Wow, okay. Well, you know what? We should probably put it onto the dino tracker thingy. That is not what I wanted to click on. There we go. Boom. All right. Uh, so yeah, I'll be here for a long ass time. It's really handy though when you are on the land, you can just basically stand on their back and it's amazing. Uh, we have a Manta attacking my dude. Boom. Two Manta, they're both dead. Sweet. All right, well, yeah, uh, we'll be here for a bit. <laughs> All right, here we go. The final feed. Boom, we got it. That was painful. <laughs> 
that took so long and also it lost so many levels it should have come out as a 260 but for some reason we lost full four full levels so that kind of sucks but it is what oh my god that food stat what the hell why is that so high okay uh we're actually probably not going to use this on this map although you know what let me just take a, a quick look at this thing uh where is it there it is uh very mediocre stats holy crap it is so it, its best stat is the is the speed <laughs> what oh my god all right well you know what that's fine like these things aren't really going to be fighting creatures they're merely going to be you know like your your kind of water mount that has a lot of weight holy crap though that is a huge amount of weight it's pretty tanky and it can kill some jellyfish so here it is with the glow which looks amazing at nighttime oh man look at that i don't know why it kind of reminds me of something and i can't even think of it right now anyway so we're gonna take this thing over to val mainly because i forgot to actually bring the saddle uh no you know what that's a lie i didn't even craft one i completely forgot uh how expensive are the saddles anyway uh, let's see, Archelon, this one here? Oh yeah, okay, so I can't easily just craft that here. Don't really have any materials here, just have a bunch of building things for an upcoming project. So we will head back to Val and we'll check out this creature. Plus, uh, it might be a little bit easier to find some jellyfish there as well. So see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're back on Val. We're gonna craft up a saddle real quick. Boom, I have the crafting skill on and... 28% is not bad. That's that's not bad at all. I'm not going to craft anymore because these are really expensive. And let's be honest, like how often am I going to use this giant turtle, which is pretty good. I mean, but it's not super useful for absolutely everything. Like it's good for getting jellyfish venom, whatever that stuff is called. Biotoxin, that's what it is. But uh, in general, like I'm probably not going to use this thing all the time. Um, so you may notice that this thing's actually bred. I did spend some more time over on, uh, what do you call it? Genesis. And I managed to actually get another, uh, turtle. And then I just bred them together to get all the best stats together. So that's what we have right there. And now we have a saddle and we're good to go. Let's just get some healing going because obviously I lost a lot of health from, uh, the crafting skill potion. Let's get down to the water here and test this thing out. There's always a ton of jellyfish down here, so I figured that this is, you know, probably the best area to even use this thing anyway. So here we go. Also, you know what? Let me show you a baby before I show you the full one. Uh, let me fix that. There we go. So boom, this is what the babies look like. Oh man, look at you, little guy. They're so cute. They really are. I, I kind of wish that they, they came in like a little nest or something instead of like a full on egg. Uh, but yeah, here is the full grown one. Boom. We got some pretty cool colors uh, combined right here. Uh, which ones are the parents? Uh, this one here is one of the parents. And then this one here. No, no, it's this one. Okay, yeah. So this is the female that we tamed up. And then this is the other one that I tamed, which was a 180, but obviously it lost like four levels as well. So it, uh, it went down a bunch. Uh, let's go ahead and pop on the saddle. Boom. Cool. And uh, let's test out this guy. So first of all, on land, <laughs> this is the best. This is the best. I'm so glad that they don't attempt to like walk around properly because this is just so funny looking. So yeah, just a normal sea turtle thing right here. They just slide along the sand like that, which is cool. I don't know if they really do anything outside of the water, to be honest. I mean, like you've got your left click attack, right click does nothing, C, no, X, no, control. I really doubt any other buttons actually do anything. Uh, space maybe? No, nothing there either. Okay, cool. Let's get into the water. Let's use this thing. So it is, of course, immune to the shock from the jellyfish, which is great. A couple creatures are, but this creature in particular is like literally the best creature to fight. Oh, hey, look, we got an alpha right there. It's the best creature to fight the jellyfish with. Speaking of jellyfish, I don't even... Oh, there we go. We got some over here. So first of all, first person and third person are very different because I've got my tech helmet on. First of all, let's, uh, let's just hit a fish or something just so we can get like an accurate uh like scan on, on how much damage we're actually doing so can i hit you oh you're like what oh okay i have backspace on oops there we go cool so 100 and 111 damage is not too bad but uh we absolutely obliterate jellyfish they're not they don't even stand a chance now that is insane we do 3000 why do you need to do that much damage to a jellyfish that doesn't even make any sense <laughs> It's just such a large amount. I'm pretty sure we do extra damage now because we have our uh, special little like jellyfish venom thing 
which I'm pretty sure is very similar to the Megatherium, except instead of it being chitin nut, we like uh, we like jellyfish um, and, and biotoxin and whatnot. So just in general, like they are really good at killing them, but I think they're also super efficient and actually harvesting them as well. So pretty good stuff there. I mean, like I, you, I don't really have a creature to specifically go out and get um, biotoxin. So whenever I need it, I, I usually would just hop into the water with the tech rifle and use that because in, in that case, I don't actually get shocked all the time. I do have a basilo, but I don't know where it is. And we got to breed up some basilos at some point soon. But um, yeah, so we basically got this jellyfish uh, thing up here. Let me go ahead and just pump some levels. What should we even be pumping here? Maybe get this up to like 20K, I guess. We got an alpha right here. I'm not sure if we can really kill this thing though. Cause uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we might not be able to. <laughs> What level are you there, bud? I can't even see. Let me just uh, buy glass. Uh, nope, can't see as well. Cool. All right, well, we should... Can we get away at all? Wait, what else do we do in the water? Let me try right-click. Right-click does nothing. Okay, C does nothing. X, nothing. Control, space. Okay, so it literally just bites. You see what I was talking about? It is, you know, it's a really cool creature. It is just super basic. And to be honest, I don't really know what else you could do to this creature without making it absolutely insane and crazy. Um, I mean, like, maybe some sort of spin attack, but at the same time, like, would that really suit what seems like a peaceful enough creature like this? I don't know, probably not. Let's get out of the water real quick. Yeah, come on, just slide across the sand, get away from this dude. Definitely can't kill that thing. I mean, I probably can, but it would take absolutely ages and we'd probably almost die as well. So yeah, maybe what we should be pumping is movement speed. Does that actually increase by a bunch? Like, let's see. Could you imagine like just max leveling the movement speed on this thing and just flying across the sand with like one little, like, one little like uh, push forward and you just shoot right forward. I don't know, that'd be kind of funny. We should probably do that actually. Maybe I'll leave one inside of a little soul ball. And then uh, in a future episode, we could just pull it out, max level it in terms of movement speed, and then just try that out. But uh, yeah, <laughs> let's, let's get back into the water here. Let's try and swim away from these dudes. Are they coming for me? It doesn't really look like it. So yeah, fairly, you know, basic-ish creature. It is still pretty cool though. I do like it. I like the fact that they're really good at gathering the biotoxin. Um, you know, there isn't a creature that's like got some sort of biotoxin um, I don't know, super efficiency. I mean, I, there are some creatures that that do a decent amount. They actually harvest up a decent amount. I think the Spino is supposed to harvest up a bunch, right? Can't exactly remember. It seems like when I'm going down, I go a lot slower as well, actually. We're going quite fast when we point forward because we have like a weird little trail, if you can see that. And when we go up and down, we go a lot slower. So I, I guess I'll let them try to shock me. As you can see, it doesn't actually do the stun. And uh, the little buff is just called Jellyfish Killer, so go ahead and get you killed. I would say, you know, if you want something to collect up some biotoxin, definitely tame one if you've got Arcaditions on your server, of course. But uh, if not, you know, like they're they're definitely very grindy tames. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily like bother trying to tame these dudes anymore. Um, I forgot how basic they were. And like the Arcaditions creatures, all of them have all been really, really cool. They do a lot of different things and everything. So that's kind of like the draw for the mod for me. Like every single creature in it is just really unique and crazy looking. Uh, there's the regular one, by the way. Uh, it looks, you know, obviously fairly basic. You want to go for the X ones because they look a little bit cooler and they've got like the cool looking eye. It looked like the other one over there had just like a basic looking eye. Let me have like a closer look at this dude. Yeah, still really nice looking. It's just we don't have all the cool patterns. So definitely tame up an X one if you want them. Um, but yeah, guys, I honestly don't know what else we could do with this thing. It's uh, it's not super powerful. Uh, we can go around and collect up lots of biotoxin, and I'll probably do that. But um, yeah, that's I think that's going to be pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it regardless. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure that you tame up a, an Archelon. Actually, you know what? One more thing. No, I, I just remembered. I meant to show this off. Uh, let me get back to the shore real quick. Oh my god, there's a lot of jellyfish right here. I guess I'll kill them all on my way. I think the shoreline's over this way. Okay, so what I wanted to show off was the acro, which I can see it's right there. Cool. Uh, so we tamed up Karen quite some time ago, actually. Uh, we tamed this thing up over on Genesis, of course. It's an X acro and it's also from Arc Editions. But in the last episode, when we killed 
the uh, the acro the savage acro boss we um we got this really good saddle which is honestly just really insane but we also got this ghost skin for it and that is looking pretty cool actually I like that yeah you know what hang on a second can I see my legs dangling I, I feel like I can kind of see my legs dangling like right there that almost looks like my foot right there um <laughs> super crazy looking Let's do the little stats. I love these acros. We definitely got to tame up more of these guys. We got to maybe try to do some mutations with them too. I'll definitely try to get that done at some point soon, but just give me a little bit before we do that. But uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to show off real quick. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. And uh, yes, I will catch you in the next one.